The power's gone to your head, Justin. I think it's time to hand it over. Michael! I know why you're doing this. You're getting desperate, Justin. How long do you really have left anyway? Michael. Who are you? What? What is this? Who are you? Have you got any food? What's with all that stuff? None of your business. You broke in, didn't you? But I don't suppose you could call the police for me? No. Stupid question, right? Um, hey, look, could, could you free me? Okay, hang on a second. I mean, you must be chained down for a reason. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm actually a serial killer. But they ran out of room in prison, so they're keeping me here until further notice. Eh? Michael, you never said you were having guests. And who might you be? Little Miss Breaking and Entering, huh? Back off! Easy, easy. I don't mean you any harm. He's full of it. What the hell is going on here? Why is he strapped down? Michael is a danger to others. He also happens to have this unique ability. It's kind of like time travel. Once a week, between Thursday and Friday, to drop in... See, he's a total nutcase. Okay, just shut up, the both of you. Look, I've got enough problems of my own. I saw nothing. I'm afraid we can't have that. Unfortunately, you broke into the wrong place at the wrong time. But perhaps we can make this the right time. Listen, I could use someone streetwise like you in the extra day. That's nearly 12. What are you on? You could get those light fingers of yours on unimaginable wealth and get off scot-free. I can take you in exactly ten seconds. You just need to be touching this loser at midnight. Go on. Humor me. This doesn't make any sense. Five seconds. Don't understand a word he says. Four. But I don't understand. Three. You mean nothing to him. He'll leave you for dead. Two. 